My name's Alan Edwards. I'm a, a fellow of the Association for Project Management and uh, I'm going to talk to you today about conditions for project success. Now this is an APM research uh, report, that's Association for Project Management, and I just thought I'd share this with you because a lot of us um, undertake projects and uh, certainly when you get uh, either large or more complex projects, they needn't necessarily be large, they may be just complex, um, it's worthwhile to bear in mind the sort of factors that you need to have in place to make a successful age of 64 years, 54 years, less than £50,000 uh, through 50000 to 249000 the median seems to be 1.0 to 4.9 million. But because we offer can be in the perhaps in the lower range here, there's catastrophic at the heart of public sector projects for X portfolios. As I say, it's a, uh, results from 25 leading project management professionals and academics to define uh, the initial framework of success factors and 862 project practitioners to test the validity and relevance of the APA in all parts. It's projects and project project accounts and quite control and consistent so efficiently and the project so called an active balance of output is less than 90 around what exceed the so success blue bronze tie overall what's a very five percent you'll see out there very good registered well for funding base the project would see so look at forms of goals that this is the statistic which is stated uh, project planning and review 14 surprising so 80 percent highest on each and shall create the so we've got um, the succession me measures uh, from greater through to lesser on the right hand side and we go through time budget specification and quality funder satisfaction stakeholder sanction and overall project success so these are the relationships between project success measures. So time, um, you get um, effective governance is a priority, project planning and review, commitment to project success, goals and objectives, supportive organizations, competent project teams, proven methods at the lesser end. And for budget, project planning and review, uh, greatest effective governance, goals and objectives, proven methods, supportive organisations, competent project teams and commitment to project success. Specification and quality, we've got goal to importance, effective governance, project planning and review, competent project teams, appropriate standards, commitment to project success, end users and operators. Funder satisfaction prioritises goals and objectives, effective governance, uh, commitment to project success, project planning and supportive organisations, competent project teams and end users and op operators. Stakeholder satisfaction uh, prioritises uh, goals and objectives, project planning and review, effective governance, commitment to project success, competent project teams, supportive organisations and end users and operators. So for overall project success we have uh, prioritise project planning and review, makes sense, goals and objectives, effective governance, competent project teams, commitment to project success, supportive organisations and end users and operators. Projects and program flag is project goals and objectives and effect average to be implemented less life funding. And, uh, so the extent to which the success factors were in place in recent projects uh, competent project teams was present and important, as was effective governance and goals and objectives. Um, proven methods and tools was present, as were as a commitment to project success. Secure funding, end users and operators, aligned supply chain and capable sponsors, uh, less uh, important and less present. Uh, supportive organizations and appropriate standards was in the lower quadrant to the most further is also is less like a six at all five things to get right following five factors could be re um, viewed as a formula for success rest should follow number one project planning and review pre-project with monitoring and review throughout the project 
Number two, goals and objectives. The overall goal of the project should be clearly specified and recognised by all stakeholders involved in the project. Number three, effective governance. The, the project of clear reporting lines and regular communications between all parties. Number four, competent project teams. The project professionals leading or forming a core team need to be fully competent. And number five, commitment to project success. All parties involved in the project must be and remain copy or um, uh, by writing to info at apm.org.uk um, and uh, or seven for now.